Hey there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Stin channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about different ways for us to project a three-dimensional sphere, the Earth, onto a two-dimensional surface. This video is all about developable surfaces for maps. Now this video is just talking about ways that we can project the earth onto a piece of paper or another two-dimensional surface. Make sure you check out some of my other videos that talk about maps as well, particularly the ones on the different types of map projections. Now before we get into the three different developable surfaces, we have to understand what a line of tangency is. This is when we have our reference globe and it's going to touch then our two-dimensional surface. The area where we're seeing the interaction occur, that's going to be this line of tangency. Essentially what's happening here is wherever we're seeing a contact made, that's where we're going to transfer the information from the globe onto our developed surface. And that's going to be important to understand because each of these will have a different form of a line of tangency because they're going to have a different amount of the world touching our developable surface. Our first developable surface is a cylindrical one. Now this gets its name because it can be rolled up and put into a tube. It's also known as a conformal. Now this is often in the shape of a rectangle. Here we're going to see our scale stays pretty consistent throughout. Our lines of longitude and latitude are going to be straight with right angles crossing at the meridians. Here we're also going to see distortion occurring most between the size and also the location of our land masses. However, we're going to see direction work really well. It's going to be pretty accurate here. And that's why most of the time we're going to see these maps actually be used for navigation. And this is the one that makes the most sense when it comes to mathematics. An example of a map that would fit this developable surface would be the Mercator map projection. Now our next developable surface is the cone or conic. Now what I want you to picture is a globe and picture then a cone going on top of it. Our line of tangency is going to be just the parts that it's touching. This type of developable surface is not meant to accurately portray the entire world. It's only getting a portion of the world. This developable surface also gets connected with an equidistant projection. Here we can see that the closer you are to the center, the more accuracy you're going to have when it comes to distance. And actually, what we're looking at here is anything that's going to be along the straight lines of a projection like this is going to see some accuracy with distance. However, as you get to the curved areas of the map, we're going to see a decrease and more distortion occur when it comes to the actual direction. This a lot of times gets used for radio mapping. And in fact, the UN symbol is a form of this developable surface and an equidistance projection. Next developable surface is a plane. It also gets connected with an azimuthal. Now what's happening here is we have the globe. And what you're going to do is essentially lay a piece of paper on top of it. The point that it is balanced on is going to be our center point for this developable surface, for this projection. And what's going to happen then is we're going to trace everything from that point. This displays directions and also angular relationships from a central point extremely well. However, where it struggles is when it comes to its actual distance and its shape. There'll be distortion that occurs there. This is often used when we're trying to understand the directional relationships and when those are really important. So this projection or this developable surface will be used in these instances. And those are the main things you need to know about the different developable surfaces. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Also check out some of the other resources I have on my channel, especially the ones for AP Human Geography. I'm Mr. Sin and until next time, I'll see you online.